Hey everybody, it's Keith McGowan, the Outdoor Dad, here to help you have a better boating experience. As promised, what we spoke about was we're going to get into this air pump. A little light emery and it came right off. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my emery cloth, make sure it's somewhat clean. I'm going to fold it over like this. Then I'm going to put it in this groove. Now, I don't want to take away metal. I just want to clean what's in there. That's all. Just a little bit. Make sure there's no crusties left inside each one of these O-ring places here. So plate cleaned up very nicely with very little effort. What I'm going to do is go ahead and put these O-rings back in the way they came out. Then I'm going to take some fogging oil and put it in here. Or maybe even better yet, I'll take some of that Optimax two-stroke oil. Maybe that's even better because that's what runs through this anyway. So we made sure it was nice and clean. I do see maybe one little spot here that we missed. Get those O-rings in here. We'll inspect this really closely and we'll get ready to clean the pump and then we'll put these back in. So now we'll take our new O-rings, put them right in place. Gonna take my gloves off for this. That's it, the gloves are off. Ha ha. Fits in there nicely. The way I'm looking at this now, this may have to, we may have to bring this pump over here. We might have to disconnect those lines because I'm not sure these are going to stay in place when we put it together. I think we may have some difficulty with these staying in place. Yep, see they're already falling off. So I think what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and take that pump off and bring it over here to the bench. All right, so pump came right off, just a couple of hoses connected. So I put some tissues in here because I want to keep debris from getting in there. We'll clean up this a little bit and uh, just gently because this is where the O-rings meet. And then we'll take the cap off, bring the cap over here, clean that up, and then we'll get it all together. So we got this cleaned up now, our pump. Now we have our cover off. Again, as you can see, it's very clean. We're just going to clean it up a little better. Um, there was a pretty heavy duty clamp on this one on the other side. So I'm going to have to do some research to see if I can use a regular hose clamp like this or do I need to do something. I have a Mercury guy that advised me to do this work that I'm going to shoot a text to and see what he says. We're going to clean this up and then we'll get this put together. Okay, so I have a little Optimax oil in here. I had bought a big tub of it years ago. So I always have it saved up. I just put it in smaller containers. And we'll get these O-rings on here. Put a little oil on this surface too, where they meet up. It's so nice and clean. So what I'm going to attempt to do here is put this on this way. This hose might be in the way. And then hold it back, put the other O-rings on, and then put it on there. Let's see how that works. They're all, just making sure they're all seated in place. So that fits nicely. Oop, I just picked it up for a second there and I want to be sure I didn't, nothing moved. Nope, everything is in place. So that's good. Okay, now we'll put a little in here. And I'll put some on the face here where it meets up as well on our pump. So now we have our new one here. The oil kind of helps it stay in place, I think, is what I'm hoping for. We'll know for sure because if we start it up and there's a leak, we'll see it. So now what I'm going to do is bring my pump body over. And now what I'm hoping to do is ensure they're in place, put my pump body on top of it, then hold it and I have my bolts here to put it in place. As you all know, I usually don't let oil and stuff get on my hands, but sometimes I break my own rules. me not dump my oil bottle over, although that would make a good video. 
a good grip on this. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Now let our get our bolts down and snug. Also noticing where our sensor goes in here, see the grease that's in there? So it still has that factory grease in it, pretty cool. So we'll get these bolts in here and tightened up and then we'll reassemble it. Now I just wanna snug these evenly. I don't want any one too tight more than the other. I wanna make sure that these plates seat down nicely and smush those O-rings nicely. And I can feel it smushing those rubber O-rings now. Kind of doing a crisscross pattern. And you, you know that it, it's going when it, you get a little bit more of a turn each time and then it almost stops. Now we'll save these old O-rings. We'll put them back in here. Not that I'll ever reuse them because they're old, but I don't know, I like to hold on to these. At least I have the part numbers. If I just want this particular, these two items and not the whole kit, that might be good for something else too. So I still have the old ones that we didn't, well, the new ones that we didn't use might be for a different model, or I think they might be the same size. But regardless of that, I'll hold on to them for a little bit, see if I use them. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the last hose that I disconnected, which was on the bottom here. Get that in place. And I'm gonna just slide this on the stud and get some tie straps so it stays where it needs to be because I need to get a tie strap on there before I put it on the rest of the way. Okay, we'll start with the last hose we took off. I like to crank it in a few more clicks with the needle nose. We'll trim that off. The other ones I think I was able to get to, so we can slide this on. You can see here the waterline one right here. Make sure I'm going on straight. Now this one goes on here. This one goes on here. These are the ones that we took off for our oil test. So this hose comes on over here. We're going to get a better clamp for that. We have a hose here that goes on. This goes directly to our P hole. So I have a little bigger tie strap for that one because it's a little larger hose. Get a little twist, tighten it up. So I'm just going to make sure everything is lined up okay here. Everything looks to be good. I'm going to go ahead and put this airline back on because this one just needs a tie strap. And then I think I have a heavy duty clamp for the other side in my kit. We'll, we'll check it out and see. So I'm going to go ahead now and just put the washer and nut on this stud. This one is also a lock nut and it is brass. So just to hold it in place, I'm not going to crank it down all the way yet. I'm also going to take the two bolts I took out of the top, drop them in place, and just get them a little hand tight. Now we have our sensor that goes back in, and the ground wire. Sensor, again, it's very clean, still has the uh, paste on it that came from the factory. There's a little clip here that holds it in place with our ground wire all together. So we just got to tighten all these up now. Not going all the way, just kind of meeting the surface with the bolt. Because I want to make sure I get the other one lined up as well. Which it looks to be exactly in place. I can tighten my ground here with the clip. So now we just need to put our belt back on. So as we said, the belt was in great shape. I'm guessing someone had replaced it at one point because it is in such good shape, otherwise I would replace it. So I want to make sure everything's lined up where it's supposed to be. 
So this is a little better clamp that I put on here. As you can see by the way the clamp is, it doesn't dig into the hose. It's actually smooth on the bottom. So that's not going anywhere. We'll put a tie straps back on here that we cut off, tie strap over here for the wiring that we cut off, and then we're all set. Our air pump is ready to go, ready to fire up and run again. All the O-wings have been replaced on this now. We're going to check that lower unit oil. We'll probably replace that next and get some cowlings on here, clean it up. I do see a spark plug wire that looks like it was a little bit chewed. We talked about in the beginning of this. So we might order a set of spark plug wires for it. It's not chewed enough to cause major damage in there, but probably a good idea to have some, some new ones on there. So please like, subscribe, and send me any comments that you have. We're going to continue on, clean this all up, put this up for sale. Next project is, I think it's 150 horse Mercury. If you watched my previous videos, we picked it up with a rod knock, and we're going to see what's going on with that. Uh, we'll clean this up, put it up for sale, and hopefully someone will have it running on their boat for many years to come. I'm Keith McGowan, the Outboard Dad, here to help you have a better boating experience. Please like, subscribe, and send me any comments that you have. Have a great day.